Today I'm going to teach you about partitions. And I'm not talking about Beyonce's song. I'm talking about partitions in geometry. On this problem here, I'm going to interrupt myself just for a minute. This is the formula for um, partitioning a line segment. It's a little scary, right? Kind of like me with no makeup on. Ah! Scary, right? Just kidding. No, with my way, we're still using the formula without using the formula, if that makes sense. It's more just examining what's happening. So I think it's easier. I hope it helps. All right, it's time to get back to business. About partitions in geometry. Um, this problem here is asking us to find the point M that divides segment AB into a ratio of three to one if A is at negative four, negative two, and B is at four, negative 10. Notice when I wrote this, I left a lot of space in between and I wrote them vertically. Um, this is saying a ratio of three to one. What that means is, uh, let's just say for every three students I have who have uh, black hair, I have one student with blonde hair. Well, how many students do I have together? Four. So we are actually looking for the point here that divides a segment into four units. And the ratio is going to be three to one. That's what this is saying. So we have a total of four. So we're actually looking for the point that is three-fourths of the way from here to here, which is from A to B. And direction is important. So always be careful which way are we um, going from, meaning where are we starting, where are we ending. All right, we're going to do one final problem involving partitions. Um, this problem is telling us that segment AB has end points A at 10, 4, and B is at 2, 8. It's asking us to find the coordinates of the point that divides the line segment directed from A to B, so from here to here, in a ratio of 1 to 4. Okay, so you always have to be careful with these. Make sure you understand what is it asking us to find. So our ratio here is um, one to four. That means the point we are looking for is going to be one fifth of the way from here to here. So again, you ask yourself, how do we get from here to here? Well, from 10 to 2, we are subtracting 8. That is 100% of the way. We do not want 100%. We want one-fifth of that, so we multiply. So when you do this, this is easy peasy. This is negative 8 over 5. So instead of subtracting 8, we are going to subtract 8 over 5 from 10. Please do not get scared of the fractions, guys. This is easy peasy. Fractions are your friends. Take your 10, and we are minusing 8 fifths. So remember, we have to have a common denominator here. We're going to use 5. We're going to multiply 10 by 5 over 5, which we're not changing the number 10 because 5 over 5 is 1. And when you multiply anything by 1, the number stays the same. We're just changing the way that it looks. So we're going to get, actually, I know the screen does not show up. I don't know why I keep using it. We're going to get 50 over 5 minus 8 over 5. 50 minus 8 is 42, and the 5 stays the same. Guess what, guys? Leave it. Fractions are your friends. Do not make more work on yourself. So our new coordinate here, or not our new, our coordinate that we're looking for is going to be 42 over 5, or our x value for the coordinate, I should say. We're halfway there. We've done our x's. Now we got to find our y. Moving on. Same type of thing, guys. With our y's, how do we get from here to here? Well, here, from 4 to 8, we are adding 4. But remember, that is 100%. 
We do not want to go 100%. We want to go one fifth of that. So again, we are going to add four fifths to this y value. That's one fifth of the way. I'm just gonna go like this, like this. So we're gonna take our four right here and we are going to add four fifths to that. Now, same thing as before, we have to have a common denominator. So we're gonna multiply this four by five over five. We get 20. Shame, shame, shame on me. There we go, 20 over five plus four over five. When we do that, we get 24 over five. That's it, leave it as an improper fraction. There's nothing wrong with that. So go back over here, fling, fling, fling. This is gonna be 24 over five. So this is the point that is one fifth of the way from here to here, or you can say it is the point that partitions this line segment Ooh, that looks bad. Yikes. Man, it cut me off. It was like, quit talking, lady. Well, I was just going to show you guys that that point partitioned the segment like this in a, a ratio of 1 to 4. Um, I hope you get it. I hope you enjoyed my lesson on partitions. Um, good luck on your assignments. Crazy K's out.